Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday Night Live. There we go. Let's get you up on the table. So, sorry that I missed last week and I've missed a few times recently. Um, but I have a fun project for you guys today, I hope. Well, a couple fun projects, um, depending on how fast everything goes. My space is a little messy, not gonna lie. <laughs> Hey, Veronica. So let me get everything set up and then I'll adjust the camera a little bit as needed. Um, the first project that I wanna do is an acrylic pour on a vase with a strainer. So let me just get this pulled up on the computer so I can see y'all. Hopefully my sound is down. Yes, it is. Okay. Who has tried the new colors so far? Let me know in the chat box. I have been having so much fun using these. They are quickly becoming my favorites. And so these are the colors that I wanna use for the vase. And then if we have time to do the next project, it's gonna be a very different color scheme. And I'll go over all of them as we go over them. Well, these are the 10 newest colors. They came out just a like less than two months ago or about two months ago um and yeah the first new colors that have been released in literally like two years like official release so i'm pretty excited anyways um so to remove the label on my vase i just soak it with a wet paper towel and then it comes right off and then of course we want to dry this hello hello also, where's everybody tuning in from? We've got Tennessee in the house, North Carolina, Minnesota, Virginia. Welcome, you guys. We've got some new people here. So I clean it off, and then I'm going to put it on top of this 16-ounce cup and try to make sure that it's as level as possible on that cup. And then do your best to not touch your vase with your bare hands because that'll defeat the purpose of cleaning it. Thanks, Irene. So if anyone has not tried the new colors, or even if you have and want to get some more, I have a special discount for you guys tonight. Give me just a second. Oh, I might not be able to grab it. I had to restart my computer and now it wants me to log into everything again. One second. Let me see what I can get you. And Melissa, I did get your email. I'll respond as quickly as I can. Okay, hey Linda. All right. There we go. So I really hope that you guys know how much I appreciate you joining me on the lives and that's why I always try to give you like special discounts and stuff. Um, so do, 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 do. here we go. Also, do you guys realize it's a leap year? It's pretty awesome, right? Okay. So through the end of tonight, with no minimum, um, you guys can actually take 10% off of all pouring paint. So that's including the new colors, and that will expire at the end of tonight, okay? All right. Okay. Now where did I go? There we are. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, okay, so I've cleaned my vase. I'm going to throw some gloves on now because I don't want to get more oils on it. This is all mixed media girl pouring paint. So the colors I'll be using are white. I have a big bottle of white. And then I've got, oh, did I forget to give you the code? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, Feb28 is the code. <laughs> oh, you didn't like just figure that out? <laughs> and that's at mixedmediagirl.com. <laughs> Okay. 
not gonna lie, I've been doing um, intermittent fasting, and so some I'm a little brain dead sometimes. But anyways, so I've got pearl white, canary yellow, which is a really nice soft yellow, um, cause earth shimmer, which is a really pretty earthy brownish red. I love it, like almost like a rust, but it's metallic. And then metallic mixed berry, which is a little more purple. And then we've got peachy coral. These are all ready to go right out of the bottle. They don't need to be mixed with anything whatsoever. Uh, when you get them first, I definitely recommend shaking them. Um, and then if you don't use them for a while, shake them up. Otherwise, they should be just ready to go. So I'm gonna use a 12 by 12 inch canvas. And yes, Cause Earth Shimmer is named after Cause Creations. Let me see if I can zoom a little bit here. Okay, Ooh, that wasn't so bad. Um, yeah, Cause Creations, if you know her, she loves to use the earthy colors. So I actually created this color for a class she was teaching a while back. And then her students wanted to buy more of the color. And of course I didn't have it because it wasn't something I carried regularly. So I ended up making it into a regular color. Oh, that's definitely crooked. All right. <laughs> yes, exactly, Melissa. I will um, edit the camera a little more in just a second. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of white. Keep in mind what you put in the cup first is what's gonna come out on your vase. Now here's the Cause Earth Shimmer, beautiful. We've got a little peachy coral. So I'm just using really little amounts of each of these. And then some of the canary yellow. I want this to be pretty earthy. There's the metallic mixed berry. And then some pearl white. Hello, Kelly, welcome. So once again, a 12 by 12 inch canvas underneath the vase. So I'm gonna fill this eight ounce cup all the way up to the top. And I'm gonna layer them more or less in that same order to the best of my recollection. But now that I'm done with kind of my first layer of paint, I can go a little heavier on these layers. Oh yeah, I already went out of order. Oh well, that's okay. It's really just that first layer that you wanna just do very little amounts of because that's what will come out on the base. So if you put, for instance, a ton of white, then your base is just gonna be all white. Hopefully that makes sense. So probably one more little layer here. Oopsies, forgot my white. <laughs> oh, definitely a little brain dead today. Sorry guys. Okay, and I'll just top it off with a little yellow, should be fine. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness, I have already messed up everything. I was gonna do this through a strainer. Okay, so we're going to use these colors <laughs> on a different project in a minute. But on the strainer, I don't like to put the colors in a cup first. Plan B, yep. Um, because, and by the way, I'm just reusing a, a canvas here. Um, because once you put it into the cup, it already starts mixing. Then as you pour it through the strainer, it's going to mix even more. And by the time it gets down to the bottom of the vase, it's pretty mixed. So ideally, you do it as a clean pour, meaning you're gonna pour the colors one at a time. So I'm so sorry, you guys, for my extreme brain deadness today. Um, we're just gonna do two projects, which is even better than one anyways, right? So let me adjust the camera now so that you guys can see this a little better here. And zoom back out, I think. Close your eyes. I don't know if I zoomed at all or not. Okay, that should be good. And then I'll have to adjust it again after I move the vase off so that we're just looking at the canvas. Two is better than one. Okay. So here, 
the first layers don't matter at all. So I'm gonna go a little heavier on the first layers because these are the ones I don't really care about. And I'm starting off with white. That's gonna get kind of a base coat. You don't have to do that, by the way. None of this you have to do, it's just, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Stephanie, I hope you come back another time. <laughs> Hopefully I don't scare you off with this interesting live. Okay, here's Cause Earth Shimmer. And you'll see the awesome pattern. This makes such a fun pattern, um, but it's gonna take a minute for all that white to come down. Let's go with some Peachy Coral next. So you can kind of see that the colors already start to blend in the strainer, which is why I prefer to do it as a clean pour. Thank you, Teresa. All right, here's a little bit of the canary yellow. Then some metallic mixed berry. And then some pearl white. And I'm gonna layer these probably one more time. Hey, Brandy, thank you so much. You're awesome. I can't wait to see you soon. Okay. So you can let it drain down a little bit if you want, or you can kind of just go for it and then um, let it drain at the end. It's totally up to you. And I think I'm just gonna do one more round of these, and then I might add a little paint around the outside just to make sure I have plenty of paint. Aw, thanks, Stephanie. Thanks, Jessica. Appreciate you guys. Ooh, that's looking awesome. Okay, so I already know that I want a little bit less of that yellow. I want it to be more earthy, not so spring-ish, not so eastery, I guess. So here's more Cause Earth Shimmer. Peachy Coral. And I'm gonna put just a dash of the yellow in here. And then metallic mixed berry, which I'm really liking how that color is looking on here. And then some pearl. Okay. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Reggie. So let's let that drain down just a little bit. And then at that point, we can decide if there are any other colors we want to add or like modify it in any way. You can also rotate the um, strainer if you'd like. I have found that to be a little bit pointless. The lines are already quite thin and that's just gonna mix your paint a little bit more, but it will change the design on the canvas a bit. So I, I just don't think it changes it enough to make it worth it, I guess, if that makes sense. Awesome, Benet, good to hear, good to hear. Also, I have noticed specifically the canary yellow is kind of a crazy cell creator. Has anyone else noticed that? Every time I use it, I get some cells and they're pretty awesome. There's no oils or anything added, so it's just the, the base materials that are in there. Okay, I'm going to go with a little more metallic mixed berry because that's what I would love to have on my vase. And a smidge more pearl white. Mm, actually, the pearl white's still coming. Let's give it a minute. Uh, Jessica, I think if you click on the person, if you do like an at symbol, it, the person's name will pop up, pop up, like at Melissa should pop up her name. But I'm not totally sure. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I like that. Let that go for a little bit. That metallic mixed berry is going to come out. We got that pearl white coming out, which is really pretty. And it'll keep dripping for a while. So we'll leave it probably on the canvas for another few minutes and then take it off. I think that I'm going to be happy at this point. So I'm going to put the lids on my paints and I will be spinning this canvas out. So. Now, I'm not 
not sure it should pop up for you, but sometimes I think it depends on the device and things like that. Okay. All right, I'm gonna leave the white open because I'll probably put a little bit of that around the edge of the canvas, but let me grab my spinner. And this still has a shower cap and some tape on it from the last time I used it. <laughs> so it's ready to go. Yeah, I love that metallic mixed berry too. And the Cause Earth Shimmer is so pretty. Okay. At this point, I'm going to take the strainer off. I'm going to lift it up and hold it there for just a second so that the rest of the paint can kind of drip out. And then this, you can set it on top of a cup so that it can keep dripping into the cup. I'm going to put it on my other cup for now. And I usually, there will often be a little hole here where that was sitting. Just tap that out. It'll sometimes close on its own. Thank you. Okay, give it another minute. I'm really excited to see how this canvas comes out. I think the vase is going to be really pretty, really nice, earthy, but also springy, I think, with that peachy coral in there, the canary yellow. Metallic mixed berry, arousal dazzle, and merlot, yes. So you like the warm colors, definitely. All right, let's move this off to the side, carefully. So I lift it up by the cup. Off we go. I'm trying to put it out of the way of the spinner. And like I said, I still have some tape on my spinner from the last time I used it, so that should be plenty to hold this on here. Hmm, I'm gonna be safe and add another piece of tape underneath here. So put this off center. There we go. I gotta move it back. All right, that's good. It's not stuck real tight, but it'll do. I just throw one more glove on, and then for the fun part. So I actually don't think I need to add any more paint around the edge. I think we're good, but actually, just to be safe, I'm gonna put a little bit around these corners here. Now the good thing about spinning this out if you can, although I love tilting it also, is that it really evenly distributes the design. When you tilt, sometimes you can kind of lose your design a bit. So here we go. Just a little spin there. And then you can keep let it keep letting it go, or you can stop it, take a look. I usually will tap out the edges here so that the paint flows. Ooh. That is really nice. And then I'm gonna spin it one more time. And also if you want to recenter it, like this is a little bit to this side, you absolutely can. I'm just gonna leave it though, cause I like it. And there we go. So even after the canvas is covered, you don't ha you don't have to stop spinning it. Sorry, words. Um, but if you want to keep spinning it for design purposes, you absolutely can. 
Like maybe you wanna run some more of this white off the corner or expand on this a little bit. Um, you can. I'm, hmm, I'm going to spin one more time. <laughs> and yes, Melissa, it is. I've been meaning to use it. I have some over here. Um, and if enough people like it, it might become a permanent color, but we'll see. I haven't gotten much feedback from Garrick yet, so he's the boss. All right, there we go. I think that's good. What do you guys think? Definitely very different from my usual. I don't use peachy coral that much. Um, so I like it. All right, uh, let me do a quick close up. And then I will move this off and we'll get ready for the next one, okay? Let me just wipe off my gloves real quick so I don't totally paint the foam. Hmm. Well, it's gonna be a little painted, that's okay. Okay, camera's gonna shake. All right, look at that incredible design in there. Um, I have not noticed any difference spinning it in a different direction, honestly. I mean, there's probably some extremely minute difference, but I've spun it in both directions and have seen no difference whatsoever. <laughs> so there's my answer to that. I just go with what's easiest for my arm and I'm headed. Look at those, see those canary yellow cells coming up? See that? Something with that canary yellow. I don't mind it. I like it. Yeah, Irene, I love that too. That's one of my favorite things about doing a vase. Oh, here is how the vase looks so far, by the way. So we'll see how that goes. I think it's gonna be really pretty. Okay, let me reset the stage real quick. Um, I think I'm just going to move this off to the side for now and then I'll remove the canvas later. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. There was one of my um, daughter's hairs <laughs> glued into the painting. <laughs> I, I borrowed the canvas from my daughter. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, okay. So give me just a second. I gotta grab some things. So we're gonna use a big canvas. And I think since we're all having a lot of fun, I will do a very experimental piece, if that's okay with you guys. A combo technique. So I've only got a 16 by 20 inch canvas here, and that's what we're going with. Okay. Now, these gloves are giving me grief. <laughs> yeah, my experiments sometimes work out beautifully. Other times it's like, what just happened? <laughs> All right, so I want to do kind of a combination, um, I think, hair dryer pour and tree ring. This is what I'm thinking. I'm not sure if it's a terrible plan or what. And to make matters worse, this canvas seems to be a little wonky, but that's okay. Okay, let me adjust the camera a little bit. I don't know why it seems so crooked. There we go. And I can actually pull it down a little bit so that it's closer. Okay. 
hopefully that works out. on my laptop but you know we're just gonna go for it it's already got a lot of paint on it so I'm gonna use a Remington hair dryer um, and I'm gonna use this on high and on cold so it's high air and no heat whatsoever and that's you can use heat absolutely but with no heat um, you're not gonna be drying the paint as you go essentially so let me try to think of how I want to do this if I want to do I think I might kind of do half and half. So I'll do over here the hair dryer pour, and then I'll do a tree ring pour on the other side. Let's definitely get some of this yellow in here and see if that can give us some fun cells. So we're gonna stick with these same colors. Hey Jill. Here's some pearl white. And go cause earth shimmer over here. A little bit over here. <laughs> And then metallic mixed berry over here. And we gotta get a little peachy coral in there too. Okay. <laughs> no worries, Cindy. There's always replay, but I've just begun an interesting experiment. We'll see what happens. All right, so here we go. If you have headphones in, you might want to take them out. If you have volume up, turn it down a little bit. Okay, in other news, that's really pretty. <laughs> now let's see what happens when we add the tree ring. So I'm going to take the initial cup that I had here and we're going to tree ring right here. Maybe more like oval ring. <laughs> And then this is going to be a fun game of manipulating the canvas here. Do you see that though? Look at those canary yellow cells already popping up. Kind of exciting. Okay. And I did leave a little space over here on purpose because I'm going to tilt. So I'm not worried about it. But if I wasn't going to tilt, I would blow those a little bit more. Um, this is kind of exciting, huh? So keep in mind, I've got to kind of keep both of these on or off and not try to run off too much. I'm going to run it back this way and then I, because I think I want to expand that hair dryer part a little bit more. So I'm going to go that way and then back this way. Ooh, ah. And back this way and boom what do we think guys that's wild I missed my tripod here <laughs> or painters pyramid whatever I always call them tripods I think they are called painters tripods also anyways whatever what do you guys think that's actually really exciting um, I definitely see a spot on the other side or two that I have to get. Um, I'm going to just rotate this, maybe. 
Mm -mm. Next time I just go around. <laughs> okay. There we go. That's actually really pretty. I am going to call this one a success. I'm going to run it just slightly more this way, just a little bit. Okay, I think like that. And <laughs> I do need more hands. I know, right? Wow, okay. Let's do a close up and one more time, I'm going to point out all of them cells popping up in that canary yellow. So, yeah, if you have had any trouble getting cells, definitely try that canary yellow, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Reggie. All right, boom. And I'm pretty excited about this pink on the table, too. That would be some really pretty dips, but I think I'm going to make it into a skin. Okay, camera's gonna shake. Close your eyes for a second. Um, this is with mixed media, girl porn medium. Um, Feb 28, F-E-B 28. All, one, all together, all caps. And that will, there you go. That'll get you 10% off of all pouring paint through the end of tonight. Look at them yellow cells popping up. And look at this part. That part is fun. I'm actually really glad that I put the yellow here. I think that was a great choice. And I'm gonna do that again where I do just a hair dryer pour <laughs> because these colors right here together are friggin' gorgeous. And no, I did not use a bad word. I said friggin'. <laughs> yes, my own paint and pouring medium and resin. Also, the whole shebang. Plus split cups, bottle bottoms, all kinds of things. All right, guys, that is all I have for today. Um, hopefully this dries okay because the canvas is a bit warped. So I don't have total faith, but hopefully it dries at least decent. I'm going to get some more canvases tonight. <laughs> I totally agree with that. It's like a sun coming up over a planet, yep. Or I think that's the direction it should go, actually. This should be the top. It actually really reminds me of like the Grand Canyon or um, Sedona, Arizona, right? Pretty much everywhere in Arizona, <laughs> so. Music, oh yeah, I do music too. Well, thank you, Jessica. Okay guys, so once again, use the code FEB28 through the end of tonight for 10% uh, off of all pouring paint on mixedmediagirl.com. Um, as always, let me know if you need anything. You can always email me, shoot me a Facebook message, and I'll do my best to help you. And I have a ton more videos on Facebook, YouTube, etc. So check them out. And I will see you all next time. Have a great night.